is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so the last video we got this rear bumper all built but now we got to finish it so what we got to do today is figure out a, a hinging system for the license plate to mount on because I did a hidden hitch behind the license plate so when you stick a receiver in we're gonna have to build something for the license plate to flip up and out of the way for that and then we need to clean it up get it primered get it Raptor lined and we'll be done with this bumper so you can see here we got the hitch mounted in the bumper here and i'm going to mount the license plate kind of covering it but obviously it's got to be able to move out of the way for the receiver so what i think i'm going to do is build my own bracket that kind of holds the license plate up like this and then obviously it's going to hinge and then i bought some magnets i haven't got them yet but some magnets that will bolt through the bottom here and will stick it right to the bumper and yes i have tried it on the truck through the Raptor liner and magnet stick, no problem. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. So let's get some steel out, bend something up and see if we can figure out a way to make this work. There we go, there's a little hinge. So make sure you use uh, lock nuts on there so they don't come off. But <clears throat> seems to work pretty good. So that'll mount right there. Plate will mount at the bottom of it. And then I'm gonna mount this license plate light right on top on the actual mount. And it does clear when I tilt it up, you can see. So that should work pretty good. So now we just gotta drill some holes, mount this thing up, and we should be good to go. All right, we got this all mounted up. So I mounted the license plate light, like I said, right on the plate and hinges right up. Also cut just a little bit of a relief there for the wire to go through and then just shove the wire right through the back. So this is working pretty good. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. You can flip it up, stick the receiver in and there we go. So that should work pretty good. There should be plenty of clearance, obviously. It's only eighth, or this is actually 16th, and it's right on the edge of this receiver, so shouldn't be an issue at all with interference with the trailer. So that looks pretty good and should work just fine. All right, I picked up another set of these clevis, clevis, whatever you say, mounts. We're gonna weld on, kind of just like we did on the front bumper, right where the main mounts weld into the bumper. So like I said, that's probably the strongest part of the bumper, so we're gonna get these welded in. And then you can see I already went through and kind of ground it up and cleaned up some of the splatter on the back side. So really we just got to wash it with the greaser, get the rest of this little welding crap off, get it all cleaned up, and then we can throw some epoxy primer on it.
All right, bumper's all sanded and cleaned up, ready to go. We're just gonna go over it one more time with the prep all wax and grease remover. So I think I'm just gonna paint it right there on the saw horses. You can see it's just barely touching the bottom corner and then touching this mount here. I was gonna strap it up on the hoist, but I think it's I think it's gonna work fine like this. So let's get it cleaned up one last time with the prep all. We'll get some epoxy out and spray this thing out. There we go, got one full coat on the entire bumper. So it wasn't that bad. I was able to get in all these little nooks and crannies. I even got the back side of the uh, little support there. So looking good. So we're gonna give this overnight to dry up and then we'll get out here tomorrow morning, mix up some Raptor and hose this thing out. All right guys, now the next day, I got some plastic set down on the floor. Let's go mix up some Raptor liner and hose this thing out. There we go, got this thing completely sprayed out. Turned out really, really good. Very happy with how it's looking. I got this entire backside completely coated. So 
we are good to go. So I'm gonna let this dry up probably, I don't know, a day. And then we can throw it on the truck and see what it looks like when it's all done and together. And then another thing, these are the wells I was telling you about. I don't know if I ever showed you guys. So where I was having issues with the, the weld through primer kind of blowing up on me. That's, it really bugs me how that turned out. I was really hoping to get some decent beads on the outside. But like I said, it was acting up and it wasn't welding very good. So either way, it still looks all right. And I also wanted to show you guys the lifesaver for cleaning these guns. So this stuff right here from Clean Strip, it's called Naked Gun. It's just basically, I don't know, probably lacquer thinner or something in a spray can, but it's got the wand or the uh, straw on it and you can get down inside of these guns and spray it all out and it comes out extremely clean. Also works very well for like HVLPs if you're doing a lot of painting. Um, Another thing that I've been using is this brush kit. I'll have this link down below along with the paint gun cleaner. Um, this, there's a lot of different brushes in here you can get in little tight areas. And especially the long one here for getting inside of the pickup tube works amazing. So just a little tip for cleaning guns. I know they're not fun to clean, but you got to clean them out if you want to reuse them. All right, it's been a few days. Raptor liner is hardened up. So let's get the license plate bracket on and then We'll throw the bumper on the truck for the last time. There it is, so got the mount on. And these are the magnets I bought. I didn't realize how freaking strong these things are. It's honestly, there we go, got it off. So these magnets seem a little uh, excessively strong, but at least it'll hold the plate down. So either way, we can get them up, so not a big deal. Let's throw the bumper on the truck and see how she looks all done up. There we go guys, bumper is on, looking really good. Super happy with how it turned out. I think it looks amazing with the Raptor liner, black accents. We just need wheels now. This thing looks so funny with the flares and the tires and wheels that are sticking in, little skinny tires. We gotta figure out wheels and tires, but I haven't decided what I'm doing. So that's, that's one of the next things we gotta do, wheels and tires. But as far as bumpers go, Super happy with how these turned out. Another look at this hitch setup. We just yank on that thing hard, super hard, I guess. It comes off and uh, hidden hitch under there. And this will just flop right back down on top of the hitch like you guys saw. Light clears everything. So very happy with how this thing turned out. So like I said, if you wanna build one of these bumpers, I have the plans, templates, everything up on the site, avrcustoms.com. I'll have it linked in the description. Same as a front bumper, all life-size templates. You just trace onto your steel, cut it out. I've done all the hard work for you guys. I've made it so simple and so easy to build one of these bumpers now. And the nice thing about building your own bumper, even if you're taking my plans, if you don't like something small with a bumper, you can change it as you go. If you wanna add something, you can do that. The thing with buying a bumper from a company that's, that they're already pre-made is you can't change anything on them. So if you're building it from scratch, you can do whatever you want to it. But if you guys like the basic design of this bumper, I have all the templates. I've made it super easy for you guys. So go check it out if you're interested. So go drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.